Coming up on today's show, VW invest in solid state battery technology, the iPace designer speaks out in a magazine, and are Tesla stockpiling Model 3s for a certain reason? We'll discuss. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello and welcome to the Monday, the 25th of June edition of EV News Daily. It's Martin Lee here with the news you need to know about electric cars and the move towards sustainable transport. Only story we could lead with today, he did it. They smashed it. Pike's Peak record has fallen big time. A CNET report that yesterday the electric Volkswagen IDR racer set a new overall Pike's Peak international hill climb record. Uh, they climbed 14,115 feet in a stunning time. 7 minutes, 57 seconds, 0.148. Now that previous overall record was set 5 years ago at 8 minutes, 13 seconds. So they've well and truly smashed the record. And that wasn't even in the category they were racing with. They were in the in the prototype category. Uh, they smashed that and they smashed the overall uh, time as well. Well, they built the IDR with 680 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. It was a big old battery, if I'm honest. 43 kilowatt hours feeding juice to all-wheel drive motors, says CNET, an electric motor on each axle. Did your 0 to 62 in 2.25 seconds. Total weight, 2,425 pounds, including the driver Roman Dumas, is a new record breaker. And that massive, massive wing on the back aero, so important uh, to just push it down into the road. One of the benefits, of course, of EV power is that your EV doesn't lose power at altitude like a combustion engine does. As the air gets thinner, EV power just not affected. Well, moving on to, well, staying with VW, but moving on to more battery news, and we could see that record at Pikes Peak be falling in another few years if solid-state battery tech ends up in those kind of prototype cars. VW just announced a brand new joint venture with the California-based tech company QuantumScape Corporation to develop new solid-state battery technology in future EV models, says CarBuzz.com. They'll be investing $100 million in SolidScape, founded eight years ago. They've racked up 200, over 200 patents and applications in that short time. All about solid-state battery tech. Well, Dr. Axel Heinrich is the head of VW Group Research, and he said this, and I quote, we want to accelerate the commercialization of QuantumScape's solid-state batteries, and we combine forces to leverage VW's experience as a production specialist. You can say that again. Uh, Volkswagen is thus taking another step towards a sustainable zero-emission mobility for our customers in the future. End quote. Uh, well, it's interesting. What with the Pikes Peak victory, this investment in solid-state battery technology, I wonder if all the positive publicity around particularly the Pikes Peak uh, victory will be seen by the VW board. They'll look at that. They'll see the love for EVs. You and I know it's out there. Maybe they need a bit more convincing. Maybe they will up their plans. Maybe they'll speed up their plans. Let's get those... VW factories, which we know they are masters of production. They've had plenty of practice. Let's face it, unfair to compare them to Tesla because they're a new company. Uh, but the VW factories that, I mean, one of them at the moment is like 815,000 cars a year per factory uh, that it can churn out. If they start applying that expertise to electric cars, let's hope they do it sooner rather than later when they see how much love in the next couple of days is uh, for this Pikes Peak record being set. Well, let's talk Tesla then. And Engadget report that a story first picked up by Electrek is all about them Tesla launching a paid premium connectivity package for cars ordered on or after July the 1st. Uh, they will still be a, an, a no-charge version, standard, if you like. Things like cell access, uh, according to the email. You'll just have to pay extra to get features that current owners take for granted. So you'll still get navigation with the traffic-based routing over cellular and uh, live supercharger usage info and safety stuff. Anything that's more, though, uh, you might end up paying for. Uh, read Engadget or Electrek for more details on this. For those who can afford a Tesla, though, rumours of the price being $100 a year. I'm not saying it's small change, but I don't think that anyone's going to lose any sleep about paying an extra $100 a year when you spend $80,000 on a car. Well, plus and the rest. 
Let's talk Jaguar and iPace. And the Jaguar design director, Ian Callum, has been explaining why the power of innovation is now down to millimetres. He's been talking to British Ear GQ magazine. Uh, well worth picking up your own copy if you want to read the full article. A few things that I found interesting was when Ian said this, and I quote, Now we're getting into the era of electric cars. Some designers want to maintain the traditional profile because that's what people are familiar with. But I believe there's a real opportunity here to create something that's totally different. Uh, we haven't seen enough electric cars yet to know whether the form will change that much. In many ways, what's underneath are the batteries, the ancillaries, is more predetermined than ever. But less so in terms of what's on top. With the iPace, says Ian, I was determined to throw the visual elements forward rather than it leaning back. So it looks like a mid-engined car, and it certainly spells out that it's a different kind of car and not in a contrived way. Packaging, the electric powertrain, gives you freedom, but it means the whole car needs to be lifted up, which goes against the essence of a Jaguar. And Ian says that's why the iPace was a crossover, so that they could deal with that. Now, uh, does the saloon car in its current form have a future? For physical and social reasons, it's a big question, says Ian. Jaguar believes it does. It's better for aero and will find a way of maintaining that form without having to lift the car in the air. Uh, we're under pressure to make everything taller to accommodate the batteries under the floor. Read more. Uh, end of uh, end of the article, by the way. Read more in British GQ magazine. Highly recommend it. Go and grab your copy and you'll find out more about that. Fascinating that saloon cars are not being ruled out. As we know, the Model S is a big seller. Model 3, slightly bigger seller. Uh, yeah, and uh, Jaguar saying, OK, let's work out how we're going to do this without compromising the style. Oh, you know, I've mentioned Tesla now. Uh, let me bring, let me bump this story up the order a little bit. Uh, let's talk about Model 3s. Have you seen Twitter over the weekend? Holy moly, loads of people have been finding random parking lots, been driving past them and thinking, hang on. That's a few hundred, or that's a thousand Model 3s all parked up. Yes, they have majorly been stockpiling Model 3s. But why would you do that? Well, we know the production rates are going up and up and up. Are we going to get uh, the 5,000 Model 3s a week by the end of the month? We've got a week to go. We've got seven days to do it. But even if they miss it, remember, that 5,000 a week is a self-imposed deadline. And if they miss it, you would think the world is going to stop if you read some of these articles next week. Say they do 4,500. Uh, it will be seen as a massive failure by all of those who want Tesla to fail. It was a self-imposed number anyway. Anyway, uh, so why I'm doing this in the UK. I know a little bit about quotas, but I want to try and explain to you a, a little bit more about why they would stockpile cars uh, with the help of our friends inside EVs and Wade explains more. He says this, and I quote, Will the 200,000th Tesla be delivered in June or July? People are divided on when they expect to happen. I think, says Wade, it's almost universal that everyone wants Tesla to delay until quarter three. If they do, then the buyers of those Model 3s get a big financial benefit. It's a $7,500 tax credit available until the end of December. If the 200,000th car limit is hit now, this week in June, the full credit only runs through to September. Now, we'll find out the Q2 numbers in just over a week, but you can see why they do not want to deliver that magical 200,000th car, uh, not just Model 3, obviously, uh, to any Tesla car, because then their customers potentially lose that tax credit. It's not a grant. It's not free money. It's money back on your tax, as far as I understand it. I say, recording this from halfway around the planet, but it's still a big incentive to buy that. Well, a stunt show of EVs as part of a six-day China EV rally in Qinghai Lake is uh, northwest of China's uh, Qinghai province has been thrilling the audience around China's largest lake over the weekend yesterday on Sunday. Now, the EV rally features only electric cars, as the name suggests, and it's the world's highest altitude e-car competition. Uh, themed on green and low-carbon travelling, it also so, uh, showcases abundant new energy resources as well as the beautiful natural landscapes and ecological environment of Qinghai. Uh, with this year's theme entitled EV-led new era, 
About 50 cars took part in the event. Uh, celebrities, sports champions and more lent their support on site. Uh, that is according to CGTB.com. Uh, the participants are required to demonstrate the performance limits of their EVs. They do stunts. Uh, they do suspension stunts. They move with two wheels on the ground doing wheelies, do some flexibility stunts, a few handbrake turns and so forth and things like that. Some great videos online for that. Oh, by the way, and, and finally story, uh, this is about the zero emission phrase that we all use, not actually being official until today. The Oxford English Dictionary is the ultimate catalogue of the English language, containing detailed information about history, pronunciation and the meaning of 855,000 words. Now, last week, the editors uh, sat down and decided on some new words that we've all been using that should be officially added to the dictionary. And we've got two more. Zero emission and zero carbon. <sighs> Feels like a good time to be into zero emission things when it's now an official word. <laughs> well, if you want, you can listen to every previous 160 episodes of the podcast. They're all on iTunes, Spotify. Uh, the audio goes on YouTube. Hello if you listen on YouTube. Uh, Google Play, TuneIn, Stitcher. Hello, by the way, if you are a TuneIn listener in the car, maybe in your Tesla. And on the blog at evnewsdaily.com. If you subscribe, you get them first and free and automatically. And if you want to come and say hi and hang out on the socials, it's evnewsdaily to search for. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you tomorrow.